How much water do you want, exactly? TL. Doctor customer chooses to ignore simple procedure and receives 800 gallons of water in their living room. I deliver bulk water to people who don't have access to city water or their own private well. For nearly all customers it's a simple process. Either they call for deliveries. Or they have agreed to automatic deliveries. When I show up, I hook the truck up to the fill pipe and start pumping and either listen at the vent or hook up to an installed alarm in order to know when the holding tank is full. This particular customer had their holding tank installed in a small utility room next to their living room and didn't install a vent to the outside and refused to allow us to install an alarm because they didn't want us to put the one quarter inch hole in the wall to run the alarm wire solution they call when they need 2000 gallons of water and we show up and pump exactly 2000 gallons of water this procedure worked without flaw for over a decade literally hundreds of deliveries with no issue k owner deciding to sell we are contacted by the new owners and set them up as a new account and head over for our first delivery and meeting we especially go over the issue with us being totally unable to tell when the tank is full we offered to install the alarm again for free but they declined so we let them know when they call for water they must be sure they have enough room in the tank for 2000 gal or to let us know how much water they have room for we went over this several times and they laughed saying they understood and would be calling when they were below the 2000 gallon mark two weeks go by and we receive a message on our answering machine from the new customer no gallon amount is specified this set off a warning bell though because it was a household of two and it's only been two weeks since we filled them last that's highly abnormal we expected more like five weeks so we call back just to double check no answer so we leave a message asking for confirmation couple hours later we try again by the next day we had left four messages asking to confirm that they were ready for a full load no reply well they did call so boss sends me out i knock on door as a last attempt still no answer so i hook up start the pump and set the timer so i don't over pump while reading my book 15 minutes later i hop out to check the water meter 1700 gallons i'll watch for the next couple minutes and shut it down that's when i hear the front door burst open and the woman who bought the house and had called us in yesterday is screaming to shut the water down there is water everywhere what the hell are we doing this woman has been ignoring our calls and even ignored me at her door and now she is screaming at me apparently she had called when the tank was half full instead of down below the mark showing where the 2000 gallons is and just disregarded all our messages and didn't feel like talking to me when i knocked so now she has 700 plus gallons of water in her living room boss was called out so she could scream at him husband came home from work so he too could scream at us for reasons i guess they made a lot of demands about how we were going to pay to fix it nope boss laid down how we saw the situation you can keep the water free of charge just don't call us for water anymore y'all are too stupid to work with never heard from them again lol broken heart new employee first day on the job hooked the fill hose up to the dryer vent and pumped all the water straight into my friend's house instead of the water tank worst first and last day on the job ever former environmental consultant back in the 90s we got called up to investigate an overfill by the insurance company for a gas station out in the sticks new delivery driver showed up asked where the underground tanks were got instructions to fill up the kerosene tank and went around back a while later he comes back in with an invoice for 900 gallons the owner did the numbers having measured the level beforehand 
and told him there was only room for about 500 gallons. The driver showed him where the tank fill was. The guy had put 900 gallons of kerosene into a 200 feet deep water supply well going straight into a limestone aquifer. The worst part is that since petroleum is lighter than water, it was almost completely unrecoverable as it had floated to the top of the aquifer and spread out. We recovered what we could, less than 50 gallons, and submitted the report to the state. I was told that the lawyers would take it from there. The Great Flood. Friend of mine lived on a street with a slight incline, owned the house on the highest part of the street, decided to replace the tankless hot water heater with a regular one. Gas fired like the one originally there. Was always looking for a way to save a buck, and quite often it backfired in her but nothing like this. Found someone in the parking lot of Home Depot who said he would install it for $50. He went to the house. Made a list of fittings and such and was provided with what he asked for. Came time to fire up the new heater. He turned on the water and the gas valve and filled all the gas lines all the way down the street. With water. Most of these homes had the old gas heaters that were in the floor. Everyone got several inches up to a foot of water before it sunk in up the street something wasn't. Right. I wanted to go take a look at how many fittings this plumber had to put together to come up with a way to feed water into the gas line but it was quickly disassembled and the tankless was put back in its place. Also, how did she not come out and stop you way before there were 700 gallons in her living room? Surely she would have heard, seen it way before that? Did they ever explain why they didn't answer the door or return your calls? People that dumb should not be walking around loose. Great boss you have there, op. You should keep him. I hope the previous homeowner doesn't hear about it. Having kept something nice the entire time you had it only to sell it and see it get fucked up by. The fault of the new owners hurts. When it rains it pours. Perhaps they had water on the brain? Moist. That is a great story. Too bad we can't tax stupidity or turn it into gasoline. That would actually benefit the rest of us. You can keep the water free of charge just don't call us for water anymore. Y'all are too stupid to work with. Capitalism would work well. If every business could do this to every customer. The problem is. Sometimes idiots can get rich. And demand unreasonable things. Because people want their money so badly that they put in additional labor for dumb people's stupid whims. And that labor is thus less efficient as a result. And thus more productivity is lost to the idiocy despite the fact that the company employing the laborer is making more money. What country is this? I've never heard of this kind of thing as a service. Dot why didn't you just wait for them to call you back? K owner deciding to sell why is no one on this sub able to spell, Q. K is not a word. I really don't understand why you drove to their place to fill water on. When you didn't have any confirmation from them and couldn't get in contact with them. Dude. Your employer should have been sued for damages. First. The customer didn't specify an amount. Second. You couldn't get verification on the amount so you opted for an amount that was known to be too. Large for the time frame. Sorry but without a proper work order. I didn't think you should have even got in the truck. This could have all been fixed with a simple, your order needs clarification. Please call us, and you could have supplied them for another 10 happy years. Wild. WHT is the price on such a service? I truck in all my water in the winter months. Wondering how much cash I'm saving lol. 
Less than facepalm stupidity. The gift that keeps on giving. Sometimes you just can't save people from themselves. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.